Welcome back to Reimagine 2020. I'm Jonah Hockhauser, and this is everything you need to know about the cryptosphere in 90 seconds or less for November 17th, powered by Multi.io. Uniswap's liquidity provider token reward system has ended, and we now see that there truly is no loyalty when it comes to DeFi. Uniswap's LPs were like, nah, you stop giving me free Uni tokens on top of the money I make from the pool transaction fees, I'll just go over to your SushiSwap clone who does reward me. And that's just what they did. As of this filming, Uniswap liquidity is halved, down 50% to 1.5 billion, with most of the liquidity going over to its clone SushiSwap. SushiSwap was really smart and has announced that the four pools that Uniswap ended rewards for, ETHUSDC, ETHUSDT, ETHDAI, and Wrapped Bitcoin, will have rewards on SushiSwap going forward. Smart vampire play again by Sushi. Another day, another DeFi flash loan exploit. This time, the victim is Origin Protocol's Origin Dollar Stablecoin, which saw $7 million hacked. This marks the fifth flash loan exploit in just the past three weeks, including Acropolis, Harvest, Value, and Cheese Bank, that has seen more than $15 million stolen. The exploit, called a re-entrancy hack, takes advantage of these protocol's weak price oracle implementations, where the attackers inflate the price of the protocol's derivative token to create an imbalance in the pool to then trade the assets for cents on the dollar of the real underlying stablecoin tokens. The main weapon against these exploits is better price oracle implementations, so it's up to DeFi protocols to start improving theirs if they want to protect themselves and not become just another victim on the growing list. For Reimagine 2020, I'm Yona Hockhauser. That was everything you need to know in 90 seconds. Make sure to check back here for all the latest blockchain news, interviews, and more.